Hello everyone, welcome back again to Plax's uh, 3D Shallow Foundation course from uh, Theory to Practice. Uh, this is uh, lesson uh, 32 and in this tutorial we are going to investigate the bearing capacity of shallow foundation on two layered uh, soil. As you can see in this uh, figure we are going to simulate this example and we have two uh, soil layer uh, the first two meter is a clay soil and uh, the other eight meter is a sandy soil also the foundation is a reinforced concrete footing which is square and two meters by two meter and also we are going to apply uh, 300 kilonewton per square meter to this uh, foundation and I think everything is uh, ready and we can start the calculation now. So we uh, click on uh, calculate. Okay, as we can see the calculation is finished and again we save the project and we can uh, click on uh, view calculation results. So as you can see this is a deformed shape of uh, the problem and and uh, the maximum uh, settlement or displacement is 0 0.017 and we can also uh, see the deformation contours by uh, clicking on deformation and total displacement in here we can also take a vertical section So as you can see in here, this is a total uh, displacement of uh, the foundation. So we can see in here, this is uh, a first uh, layer of uh, the soil and this is uh, a second layer. And, uh, so as we can see uh, the most of the displacement vector located in uh, the first uh, soil layer uh, also we can uh, see the load displacement curve uh, for the foundation and we can uh, 
extract the data and export to the Excel so we click on uh, the curve manager and we click on new in the X direction we choose the multiplier as a M stage and in Y direction we choose the displacement in Z direction ok and right click setting we deactivate the first and the second calculation phase so uh, this is a load displacement curve of uh, the foundation located on two uh, layers soil so we click on table and control plus a and control plus c to copy the data and we go to listen uh, 32 and we create an excel spreadsheet file so i open this excel uh, spreadsheet and i can uh, copy the data in here so we uh, change the data type to uh, general and we don't need uh, this two column so right now we have the m stage and displacement so we change the m stage to pressure just by multiplying the amount of m stage by 300 kilonewton per square meter and also this column will be the settlement and we should keep in mind the unit weight of the pressure is kilonewton per square meter and we multiply the uz which is in meter we multiply it by 1000 to convert it to uh, millimeters and we can select these two columns and we can uh, draw the load displacement curve as we can see in here we can uh, do some changes we click on X axis and right click format axis and also the label should go high and we can see this is a lot displacement curve of the foundation and we can do some uh, little bit format like uh, the primary horizontal axis this one will be load intensity pressure or stress anything you can write to describe the load intensity and also uh, the y direction is the settlement so we can change uh, the color also or we can increase the text height so as we can see uh, this is uh, the load displacement curve of the foundation located on two soil layer and the maximum displacement is about 1.6 centimeters uh, also i want to show another things in here for example we can uh, this is a uh, total displacement in z direction and we can take a vertical cross section so this is a, a displacement contour in vertical direction and we can see that we can uh, click on this hint window so when we click anywhere uh, in uh, the geometry it gives us uh, the coordinates for example it gives us uh, it gives us the coordinates in here and uh, the displacement also 
for example when we uh, close to the foundation it gives us uh, the displacement about uh, 1.6 centimeters and also in uh, here it gives us uh, the coordinates of the soil geometry so we can uh, easily check uh, w whether it is uh, in the first or in the uh, second layer or I mean in the upper or in uh, the lower soil layer also uh, you can change for example in here you can change uh, this uh, top soil layer to one meter and again calculate and compare the results or maybe you can change to 0 0.5 or maybe you can change to uh, 3 meters 4 meters instead to 2 meters and uh, compare the results of uh, the plexus so uh, this was uh, for uh, this example and i hope it was clear uh, thank you for watching see you in the next lesson